I like what I see and I don't like what I see and I'm like trying to work against what I don't like. So what are you I guys think, doing? What are you doing for them? Uh, we're going to host a series of power ups, which will offer like charging stations for not even our houseless neighbors, really anyone that comes by. Uh, it doesn't have to be houseless neighbor specific. I just mean, I want to have a community building place. That's like a hub in South LA for people to charge up tech, to be able to access Wi-Fi, to be able to you know, a lot of people haven't even gotten their stimulus payments yet because they don't have a computer to do so or to get a hot meal and we want to set up clothing and have like a barbecue and make it feel like, I think a lot of community outreach work can feel like charity and rather than like community. And, you know, we like shopping. We like going out for lunch. We like fun kiosks. It's like, why does it have to be framed as sort of this like handout sort of thing elitist yeah and it shouldn't have to it, you know if i had it my way it'd be like everyone would ha was housed and they could go to shopping centers and but that unfortunately isn't the case so i think just like trying to add some humanity to a really deeply problematic situation um around la has anything and, surprised you in that like in your time working with yeah, this community i mean yeah I, I think like the massive police control and like <laughs> how uh, something that you're up against that can make you feel really powerless. But also I think what's surprised me is how incredibly involved so many people in the comedy community are and how compassionate they are. And that I've made all these a really wonderful new friends purely because we'll do meal outreach in the morning or we'll do distribution or we'll, you know, Jared Goldstein and I have been able to do fundraising shows to stop Asian hate the last few months and that people really want to do that. Like that makes me really excited. And, you know, to your point earlier about like, I had such a weird introduction to stand up. Well, it's really changing for me because I'm meeting all these wonderful, compassionate stand ups that are brilliant and care about the world and, you know, are like using their platforms for good. And so, yeah, if anything, I feel like I've been like surprised in a good way by... Do you have any sense of how you might fix this issue? It really has to be piecemeal. Like, I would just urge everyone like collectively to at least know what's going on locally and like put, you know, frozen water. We have a heat wave, so everyone's going to suffer from heat exhaustion. Hand out water bottles in your community. Uh, go to city council meetings. Like, find out who's on your city council. Like, what are they voting against and for? Because I think right now... And I think we're experiencing it. It's like, yeah, Biden is, and Kamala are not Trump, but like, it's like, there's still issues, you know? So it's like, instead of just feeling really passive aggressive about that, it's like, how can we inform ourselves on a local level? And in Linda Day's case, it's like, well, we're going to attach ourselves to one initiative that we believe in at a time. And for now, it's building these power-ups with Theo Henderson. And I think just like trying to increase some compassion around this, but I don't think solve the problem is is realistic i think it's like what can we do individually and like trying to just like you know heighten our consciousness around it and just not turn a blind eye like i think my biggest pet peeve is just people that are complaining about things and aren't like you know we don't need to be like doing distribution every day but it's then share infographics then volunteer once a month about the thing that bothers you you know and i was just sick of being that person <laughs> so you know there's definitely a long way to go and it's all, all about balance we had a guy in here who was just grabbing a coffee and he came in and he was telling me about his he has a nonprofit helping in a different way but i was like do you think we're going to solve it and he goes yeah hmm. and i was like you do and he, i was like why do you think that he's like because it's our problem hmm. he's like and we solve problems as a community. And I was like, oh, that's some powerful shit. You know, wow. I wish I had such an optimistic <laughs> attitude right? about it. Cause I think the hardest thing I with activism yeah. work is to not feel defeated all the time. Yeah. But I do think there is a collective consciousness. This sounds so like I'm in a Ted talk, but I think things are different now. Like I feel like people are waking up a bit more to the problems that are around them. And I feel like we all just inherently from the last 15 months feel more connected and therefore feel a little bit more responsible for what's happening. So that gives me hope. 